in the 2021 in this revolutionary era, we can play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on the PS Vita. Hey guys, it's Mark from Modern Tech, and yeah, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is now on the PS Vita. This isn't just like a snips down version or a homebrew kind of chopped up experience. This is actually the full on game, the same as you'd play it on the PS2. It is absolutely incredible. I've just installed it on my PS Vita. I will leave the download link in the description. If you haven't got a modded Vita, you do need a modded Vita. I do have a video tutorial on that. I'll leave that in the description as well. And it'll also be at the end of this video. But yeah, let's just jump into it. Right, so here we go. As you can see, the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas icon is right there. I'm not gonna lie, this wasn't the simplest thing to install, so I'm not gonna do a tutorial on it. I will leave a link in the description to a couple of tutorials that I followed. Be warned that you have to have your PS Vita on mobile version 2.01. I have been playing this game, so I'm just gonna click resume. There you go, as you can see, it is full on Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. It is fully optimized for the PS Vita as well, so you press left to view all your stats. Of course, I'm going full muscle because I'm a hench kind of guy. Yeah, there you go. It is just full on, full running. Works perfect. When I first played this game, I did notice a couple of stutters at the beginning. But what I did is I changed the resolution settings down just the tiniest little bit. So there, my resolution is on 90 and the visual effects is on low. I've turned shadows off, car reflections are off, and in the game options, I've also put on the frame rate limiter. There you go, there's the grove in the daytime. I'm just gonna click on a mission just so we can see a cinematic cutscene in action. Carl, I know everything about you. I actually didn't realise that this was this mission, the most famous missions on Grand Theft Auto ever. <laughs> so apparently this game is based off the mobile app version, but one of the most impressive aspects to it is it has a PS2 rendering, alongside being able to control some of the graphic settings on a device like the PlayStation Vita is just absolutely incredible. You can make it so the frame rate works absolutely perfectly. Of course, some people do overclock the PlayStation Vitas, but I haven't. And as you can see from the gameplay, mine runs absolutely perfect on the settings that I have configured. Credit for this port obviously goes to the official flow on GitHub. I'll leave a link to the download in the description current version of this game is 2.0 and there is also a log that shows all the versions from 1.9, 1.8, 1.7 etc all the different fixes and upgrades that have been done to this game and to be honest my experience of playing this I've said it countless times already is incredible and I highly recommend it to anybody who owns a Vita. Grand Theft Auto Vice City and Grand Theft Auto 3 are both available to download as well and I will be getting them especially after playing this one I can't wait to play Vice City that game is incredible and I want to do a full playthrough of this game for those people who do like to do cheats I don't think the typical L1, L2, R1, R2 sort of cheats work on this however I've not tried it but there is an option to manually input PC cheats. SD to Vita users, this may be a little bit more complicated than usual to set up, but it can be done as I am using SD to Vita and I've managed to do it myself. I find it absolutely fascinating that we can play GTA San Andreas on this old 2011 device in 2021 this is still this gives me hope that people are still doing a bit of work on the playstation vita sony has officially abandoned it let these homebrew guys take over it is their console now the capabilities of it is amazing and i am super stoked to see more so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video as i enjoyed making it it's mark from modern tech take care